Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to grow oyster mushrooms that you can get at the grocery store in used coffee grounds. And all you need is a small purchase, about a dollar or so worth of mushrooms, and it'll keep going forever as long as you want by reproducing the spawn, which I'm going to show you in this video. And this will be a multi-video series where I show you each step as it goes. So let me show you where I bought these at the store. All right, here's a quick view of the prices of different mushrooms. And we're going to buy the oyster mushrooms, which you can see are $4.99 a pound, which is kind of pricey, which is why we're going to grow our own. These are from Monterey Mushroom Company in Illinois. I gave them a call, and they said that these were the gray strain of oyster mushrooms. And uh, what we want is the stem butts. We don't care about the tops of the mushrooms. Nice, healthy stem butts. Well, the number one thing in growing mushrooms is everything needs to be sterile because they get contaminated very easily. So you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%. Don't get anything less than that because it won't do the job. And here, I'm just going to wipe down my whole table surface with it. And sterilize everything. Because there's little bits of mold in the air that you can't see. And it can easily get into what we're doing and contaminate the whole project and you'll have to start over. I'll give you a close look here at the mycelium at the bottom of the stem butt. Here you can see the first quarter inch or so of that white fuzzy stuff at the bottom. Actually this has grain in it still from the substrate that they grew it in. But yeah that's what we need that first quarter inch or so and that's what's going to spread throughout the coffee grounds. Okay you're going to need a few dishes to work on and a blade or a knife, I like a blade, and a bowl, this is for the coffee grounds, and everything needs to be sterilized with isopropyl alcohol, and that's to prevent foreign mold spores from getting into our mycelium and contaminating the whole thing. Clean the blade or your knife with the alcohol, and wipe down each dish too top and bottom. And I'll show you what to do next here. Okay, now time to cut the stem butts off of the mushroom. You can see here about a quarter inch or so of the mycelium at the bottom. and That's the part we need. And just keep gathering these and put them on another plate. There's another one. You can see it's nice and fuzzy that whole section there. And we get to keep the mushrooms too. This one's kind of big. So I'm just going to cut it into a few sections. Let me show you what to do next. Okay, now it's time to get our coffee. This is fresh brewed, and you're going to need to wait until the grounds are just warm to the touch, not cold, and not steaming hot. And what we're going to do is take this out and squeeze it over the sink to get the excess water out. Okay, here I have the coffee grounds still in the filter, and I'm just going to squeeze all I can to get that out of there. All the excess moisture. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my bowl and then I'm going to just rip it all apart. Filter and all. Mycelium will run right through the paper. that into bits just like that okay you're going to need a mason jar a lid like this one and we have our coffee all set here and what we're going to do is sterilize the mason jar wipe all around it and then put some rubbing alcohol inside and swish it around Sterilize the insides. 
Also, wipe down your hands every time you handle anything with isopropyl alcohol. It'll sterilize your hands and help keep the contaminants out of there. Okay, then just dump that out. I'll let it air dry. Make sure it doesn't smell like alcohol when you, when you use it in a minute. And do the same with the lid. Wipe it all down. And we'll give it a few minutes here to air out and evaporate. All right, while well our jar evaporates all that alcohol, I'm going to take some more rubbing alcohol and a coffee filter and going to sterilize the coffee filter by just dabbing it on both sides with the rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to let that dry out too for a few minutes. Okay, here comes the fun part. We're going to add our coffee grounds to the jar and make sure you, you wipe your hand down with alcohol before you do this. Just going to dump it in there. Next, we're going to put in our mycelium stem butts. Okay, now we're going to add the stem butts to the coffee. I kept them covered up here while we waited. And make sure to wipe your hands down with the alcohol. Sterilize your hands. Okay, and then just take a piece of the stem butt and try to aim it mycelium side down. That one was okay. That one wasn't. And I have a sterilized butter knife here. I can just turn it and kind of push it into the coffee grounds there. And uh, just keep adding them. And make sure the mycelium side is down. Just like that and uh, I'm gonna do two jars here just in case one gets contaminated okay quick look inside the jar you can see how I space the stem butts mycelium side down and these will start to spread within a few days okay at this point I'm going to add my coffee filter to the top this has been sterilized as I showed you a few minutes ago and put the sterilized ring and screw it to the top of the mason jar. And that'll allow for airflow to get oxygen in and CO2 out. All right, eight days have passed by and I brought these outside so I can show you the mycelium spreading because the lighting was so good out here. As you can see, it is really spreading throughout the jar through all the coffee grounds and that's what we want all the way through the bottom of the jar too same on this one here Let's see this one is really good so it's time to add another layer of coffee grounds and uh, just keep going from there I had these two jars sitting on my windowsill in indirect sunlight at 70 degrees and what I'm gonna do now is sterilize everything before I open the jars and put more coffee in. The mycelium is spreading rapidly and probably doubling every day. So we're going to take this off. We're going to dispose of our old filter and put a new filter on there. And here's our new coffee grounds. And I'm going to split this between two jars and not smother it just enough where it can take it over every day just like this and 
the rest will go into the other jar. I figure it's going to take about three or four weeks for the whole jar to fill up with coffee grounds and be completely colonized. And that will be in my next video where we take a fully colonized jar and add it to another substrate, a bigger container of substrate, and let the mushrooms grow from there. And also, I've been working on growing portobello mushrooms, which will be another video series because I'm starting them from spores. That's why I have all these petri dishes. It's a little bit more difficult, but it should be a lot of fun. And I'm going to try some other oysters that aren't available locally from this catalog, um, Field and Forest. They have, oh, where is that? They have about uh, seven or eight different varieties of oyster mushrooms. I'd like to try the king oyster. So subscribe and stay tuned to watch the rest of the series.